Hello everyone, David A. Cox here with PCClassesOnline.com, the world's first free virtual classroom service built specifically for baby boomers. And today we're going to be doing an update to a class that we offered a few months ago, which is we're going to be talking about all the different commands that you can give to Surrey, which is the automatic assistant built into the iPhone uh, models 4S and later. Now, you are actually looking at a live feed right now of my phone, so one of the things I always mention is that if anyone tries to call in, of course, I will later on in editing block out their caller ID and reject the call. However, it is possible that that could happen, so please forgive me if that does take place. So we're going to be talking about all those little things that you can tell Surrey, so I hope you enjoy this. If you like, you're welcome to take notes, and of course, check out our website if you're not already a member, pcclassesonline.com. So let's start with talking about how you access Surrey. The way you do it is you're going to use the button on the front of the phone that's called the home button and you're just going to simply press and hold it for two seconds. Let me actually unlock my phone. There we go. So one of the things you can do and this is probably the absolute dumbest thing that you can do is you can have a conversation with Surrey. This is of course great if you're bored out of your mind or drunk at a bar. So you could for example, hello Surrey, how are you doing today? or if you have absolutely no friends. This is very, very entertaining if you have no friends. And sometimes she takes a little while to respond. Right now, there you go. And she'll answer different things. Um, some people get a little too creative with this. So for example, some of the stupid questions that you can ask her are, Suri, what is the meaning of life? I don't believe there is a consensus on that question. Sometimes she'll say the meaning of life is chocolate. Uh, and she'll give you other answers other times. Um, of course, let's get into the real stuff here. So the main thing that you can do with Surrey, which is probably the most commonly used function, is to place calls. So you could hold down the home button for two seconds and say, Surrey, call mom and dad. And as long as there is a contact in your address book called mom and dad, she'll place the call. Um, you can also tell her the phone number. So I could say call 508-555-5555 and she'll place the call for you. Now, Surrey does know where you're standing as long as you've enabled GPS on your phone. So you could say, call Radio Shack. And you don't have to even say the city and state unless it's not where you are presently right now. So if I do that, she's going to look at where I'm located, look for businesses near me called Radio Shack, and place the call. Should you use the FaceTime feature in the iPhone, FaceTime is basically an alternative to Skype. You can do video calls. Um, over now cellular or Wi-Fi. You'll usually have better quality, uh, a better connection if you're in a wireless network when you do this. But I could tell her, start a FaceTime call with and then my friend's name. The next thing you can do is you can use Surrey to launch applications on your device. So for example, I could say, Surrey, launch settings. And there you go. By the way, one thing I should probably note, you don't actually have to say Surrey. I'm just kind of doing that for entertainment value. Um, so you could just say launch settings and she'll open it for you. Next, you can tell her to send a text message. Now there's a couple of different ways that you can phrase this. You can say, tell so-and-so and then just the message. So I could say, tell Jack that I'm running 15 minutes late. And so she'll look for a contact name Jack and send a text message saying, I'm running 15 minutes late. The other way you can phrase it is you can say, send a text message to so-and-so and then just start dictating without stopping and she'll send it off. Next is we're going to talk about uh, some of the different calendar things that you can tell her. Um, now this one is actually pretty important that you phrase it the right way. Now before we actually get into that, one of the things I would like to mention real briefly is that if you, like me, don't like the calendar app in iOS 7, there is an alternative, and we did an entire class on it. Um, you can check out that video at pcclassesonline.com. The name of the app is called Cal, by the way, um, and it talks to your pre-existing calendar, so you don't have to import things. So the way you do it with a calendar, and a lot of people say this wrong, say, add to my calendar, the name of the event or the person that you're going to meet followed by the date and time. The reason why I say phrase it that way, say specifically the word add to my calendar, is that 
if you say schedule an appointment or schedule a meeting with, what will happen is let's just use this mythical creature named Jack. If I say schedule an appointment with Jack and Suri goes into my contacts and sees someone named Jack, she's going to send an email to Jack saying that I have just scheduled a meeting with him. So that's great if you would like that to happen, but it's a lot easier just to say add to my calendar so and so. That way it only appears on your calendar not theirs. I've received emails from people saying, how did I just get this mysterious email from someone? Well, they didn't know that that person had said it the wrong way and it sent them an email. So that's how you do that. You can also tell uh, Suri, for example, what does my week look like? So let's see what she says. I may have to block out part of the screen for this. What does my week look like? Now I'm recording this on a Saturday, so... So there you go, okay? So um, that's another thing that you can do. You can use Surrey for sports scores. Now this is dangerous because I always end up, end up pissing off someone. So let's try this one out. How did the Red Sox do recently? The Red Sox face the Tigers in game six of the ALCS at 8.07 p.m. Okay, so that's today, but I can say, did the Red Sox win their last game? Boston edged Detroit in Game 5 of the ALCS by a score of 4-3 to three last Thursday. Thank God my Boston friends don't hate me now for saying that. Other things you can do is you can ask Surrey, of course, for driving directions. So you can say, give me directions to Fort Lauderdale. Getting directions to Fort Lauderdale. And she'll go into the Maps application. Now, some people have mixed feelings about the Maps application, myself included. Um, you may instead prefer to use um, an alternative app like Google Starting Maps. Route 2, 301 to 347 East Broward Boulevard. And Head south on Spinnakerlane. Then Sorry about that. It started talking to my speakers, so I'm going to cancel that one out. But you can ask her for driving directions. Um, one thing that's a good idea to do is make sure that in your own contacts you have your home address. And the reason is that way you can say to Surrey, give me directions home and she knows where home is. You may also want to do the same thing for your relatives, um, and we'll get to that why in a little bit. <clears throat> you can tell Surrey to post things to Facebook or Twitter. So I can say, create a tweet. I am teaching a class on how to use Surrey. Uh-oh, your Twitter password might Oops, be I forgot to put in my Twitter account which I never, ever use. Um, but you can tell her to post to either Facebook or Twitter. You just simply say, post to Facebook or Twitter, and then whatever it is you want to say. Um, another one is if you use the app Open Table, you can actually use Surrey to book a table. Um, in the case that you do, you can say, table for four at name of restaurant at time. And she'll try to see if that's available. I don't use that, so I can't get, I can't really show you that one. Next is movies. So I can say, for example, what movies are playing near me? I found three movies playing today in our province town. We don't have many movie theaters here, but of course you can see here you can get reviews. Um, you can even watch movie trailers. So I can say this. Play the movie trailer to Gravity. Which of these were you interested in? Okay, so tap on the first one. Here's your trailer. And if I hit the button down there at the bottom right that says watch trailer, it'll play it. You can also, uh, in the category of entertainment, you can find out information on your favorite actors or, you know, even people in sports too. So I can say, how old is Chelsea Handler? Chelsea Handler is 38. Okay, give you a little bio there. I only brought that up because last night we were trying to figure out how old she was and everyone thought she was 50. Oh dear, sorry Chelsea. Okay, a couple other things you can do. You can use it to play music. Um, so I can say, play Maroon 5. And she'll start to play. Okay, Maroon 5 coming up. Sheffield. Now you can use that to either, I'm gonna stop it from. Okay. You can use that to either play a specific song, an artist, or even a playlist. So for example, in my phone, I have a playlist called Club Mixes. So I could say, play playlist Club Mixes, and she'll start to play it. 
another item is reminders. This is a big one. So when you create a reminder, what's really cool about it is you can have it be either uh, based on the date and time or even the location. Um, another great example of why you should have your home address. So for example, I could say, when I get home, remind me to take the laundry out of the dryer. And then as soon as Surrey detects that I'm home, boom, she'll send me a little alert saying, take the laundry out of the dryer. I'm gonna give you a little trick for this one too. Now, one of the things that Surrey can't do is create a shopping list. However, I figured out a way to kind of tweak it so that you can. Let's say you have one grocery store that you go to more than often, more than others, okay? You could create a contact in your address book and call it grocery store. And as long as you put the address, you can use the notes function and say, next time I go to the grocery store, remind me to get, and then just start creating a list of items. And as soon as you walk into that grocery store, Surrey's gonna go off, detect that you're there, and give you all of those different items that you've been telling her to remind to remind you to get. That's a little trick for you. Um, other reminders, you could say, uh, remind me um, in 10 minutes to do so-and-so, okay? So you can it can not just be location-based, but can also be based on time. Next, you can create emails. So I can say, send an email to my mother, you know, can't wait to see you next weekend, period. And she'll send it away. Weather? What's the weather looking like for the next week? for the next five days sorry my bad so you can do forecast up to five days or you could even say what's the weather going to be like tonight and she'll give you an hourly breakdown okay here's the weather for tonight if you actually tap on the day that's how you can get into it there you go so you can see hour by hour what it's going to look like next you can use surrey uh, to check stocks so i can say how is Microsoft's stock doing? Microsoft traded up 0.11% yesterday at $34.96. And that works for any stock. Um, you could also use it just to say, how did the Dow Jones do yesterday? Dow Jones Industrial Average was up 0.18% yesterday at 15,399.65. You get the idea. Next, you can use Surrey to create a uh, alarm, a timer, um, which you can do in a few different ways. So one of the things I do is I always get up at the same time every day. So you can tell Surrey, for example, every day, wake me up at 7.30 a.m. I've set an alarm for 7.30 a.m. starting tomorrow. And if you look at uh, just below where it says 7.30, it does say every day. You can also do other time-based reminders. So I can say, Remind me to take the cake out of the oven in 15 minutes. Here's your reminder. Now, technically, I didn't, technically I didn't actually phrase that right. Because of the fact that I did give her an item, it created a reminder instead of just a timer. So the other thing you can do is just simply say, set my timer for 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes and counting. So in 10 minutes, theoretically, if I'm not done with this video, which I should be, my alarm will go off. Let's not make sure. Let's make sure that doesn't happen. Cancel my timer. Okay, I stopped the timer and reset it to ten minutes. Close enough. Okay. Next, we can use Surrey to look up contacts and tell her the relationships of your contacts. So, for example, uh, if you have your sister's name in your contacts, but she doesn't know that it's your sister, you can say so and so is my sister and she'll remember it. So that way, let's say, I say, give me directions to my sister's home. She'll immediately know that sister points to that person in my address book. Um, other things I can say, let's say I have a bunch of people in my address book with a certain name. Find people named Alan. Which one? And there you go. So now you can tap on which one you want and get access to the information. You can create notes using Surrey, and to wait the way you do this is you say note that, and then just go ahead and dictate. Note that Surrey commands are fun. Here's your note. There you go. 
Next, you can use Surrey to access different settings. So for example, I can say, turn off Bluetooth. Okay, I turned off Bluetooth. You can also use that, of course, for the other settings. For example, airplane mode, turning on or off Wi-Fi, locking the orientation, etc., etc. A big one, which is very generic, is you can say, search the web for so-and-so. Search the web for the Mac Guru. And there's my website. Next, you can use Surrey for questions and answers. Uh, this uses a website called Wolfram, Wolfram Alpha. Uh, I use this a lot for whatever reason in the kitchen. So let's say I have to convert this to that. I can say, how many ounces are in a pound? Checking my sources. One pound converts to 16 ounces. Et cetera, et cetera. You could say, you know, how many miles are in a kilometer, or how many kilometers are in a mile, rather, etc. cetera. Uh, another fun one, which I wanted to give you, and at this point we've kind of gone over a lot of them, is, uh, it's kind of a fun one. You can use nicknames. Now, I have done a class in the past where this ended up being very embarrassing, where I had been out the night before and may have been drinking with a few friends, and I was showing off this feature. You can give people nicknames. Uh, including yourself. So you can tell Surrey, from now on, call me this. And I had, the evening before, told Sur Surrey to call me a very inappropriate name, which then came up during a live class, and everyone seemed to get be amused by it. So, for example, I could tell Surrey, Surrey, from now on, call me the Mac Guru. You would like me to call you the Mac Guru? Okay, the Mac Guru. And there you go. So that's about it for as far as the Surrey commands. Um, a lot of these things that I've just told you can be phrased in many different ways. So if you don't get it perfect, don't worry. And the more you use it, the more you'll learn the different ways that you can phrase it. This is David A. Cox with PCClassesOnline.com. Again, for those of you who are watching this on YouTube who've just kind of checked us out through a Google search, I hope you'll check out our website. We are a completely free service open to the public at PCClassesOnline.com. That's all, everyone. Take care.